We're always watching the skies as our city personnel and transit officials. Uh, they blanketed uh, the city in the boroughs today uh, to address problem areas, things and places that might come up. I'm going to be holding on to this. See, the umbrella is a good idea after all. Moisture arrives Monday evening. After a few days of on and off again rain and a flash flood last Thursday, neighbors uptown are ready for anything. Manuel Vidal has the weather report. By the time it got to the afternoon, it was still good and it actually got more humid and there was a lot of sun. But then the wind started picking up and that's how we knew it was kind of coming. A lot of rain quickly appeared uptown last Thursday, submerging roads and an entrance to the West 157th Street subway station. Neighbors waded into the water to clear drains last Thursday, which were blocked by pieces of trash. You know, that's a problem. It gets into the storm drains, it clogs everything up. Of course, with climate change happening, it's going to be raining more and more. We're going to get wetter, wetter uh, weather. And, you know, it's going to be more difficult. So we got to make sure we, we are taking care of uh, basic infrastructure. The city was not about to let that happen again here. Catch basins cleared and crews with the Department of Environmental Protection inspected pipes. Block drains are a big concern across the city for the MTA and New York City Transit, too. Because a lot of what we do um, is, is dependent upon what comes into our systems, but we're also relying on the drains that, that, the, that the city has. Even when it's not raining, New York City Transit and a network of pumps remove about 14 million gallons of water from the system every day. The subway system is made to take on water. Um, but in advance of a reg of a storm, we do put additional measures in place. It must have drained pretty good. So whatever they did since then must have worked. This time the water moved right along. But a Columbia University climate and engineering expert says many of the problems we're seeing are just the beginning. Bent aid fixes and raising entrances on subway entrances and so on just won't do it. It's part of it, but the ongoing discussion about climate change is a big component. You will be hearing more of that uh, about that from the city uh, and the MTA. Some of those projects uh, to address the system are included in upcoming capital projects. Uptown Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.